Hello everybody, and today I'm going to read you the tale of Mrs. Tittlemouse. Once upon a time, there was a wood mouse, and her name was Mrs. Tittlemouse. She lived in a bank under a hedge. Such a funny house. There were yards and yards of sandy passages, leading to storerooms and nut cellars and seed cellars, all amongst the roots of the hedge. There was a kitchen, a parlor, a pantry, and a larder. Also, Mrs. Tittlemouse's bedroom. There was middle, Mrs. Tittlemouse's bedroom, where she slept in a little bed. Mrs. Tittlemouse was the most terribly tidy, particular little mouse, always sweeping and dusting the soft sandy floors. Sometimes a beetle lost its way into the passages. Shoo, shoo, sha, sha. Little dirty feet, said Mrs. Tittlemouse, clattering her dustpan. One day the little old woman ran up and in a red. <clears throat> a little old woman ran up in a red spotty cloak. Your house is on fire. Mother Ladybird, fly away home to your children. Another day, a big fat spider came into shelter for rain. Beg pardon, is this not Miss Muppet? Go away, you bold bad spider. Leaving edge of cobweb all over my nice clean house. She bundled the spider out of the window. He let himself down the hedge with a long thin bit of string. Miss Tittlemas went on her way to a distant storeroom to fetch cherry stone and thistle down sea for dinner. All along the passage, she sniffed and looked at the floor. I smell a smell of honey. Is it the cow's, cow's lips outside in the hedge? I'm sure I can see marks of little dirty feet. Suddenly around the corner, she made a Babbity bumboos biz biz. The bot said the bumblebee. <coughs> Mrs. Tittlemouse looked at her severely. She wished she had her broom. Good day, Babbity Bumble. I should be glad to buy some beeswax, but what are you doing down here? Why do you always come in at the window and say, Ziz, biz, biz? Mrs. Tittlemouse began to get cross. Ziz, whiz, whiz. But like Betty Beat Bumbo in a peevish squeak, she sailed down the passage and disappeared into the storm room which had been used for storing acorns. Before Christmas, the storeroom ought to have been empty. But it was full of untidy dry moss.
Mr. or Mrs. Tittlemouse began to pull out the moss. Three or four other bees put their heads out and buzzed fiercely. I am not in the habit of laying lodgings. This is an intrusion, said Mrs. Tittlemouse. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I wonder who would help me. Biz, whiz, whiz. I will not have Mr. Jackson. He never wipes his feet. Mrs. Tittlemouse decided to leave the bees after dinner. When she got back to the party, she heard someone coughing in a fat voice. And there sat Mr. Jackson himself. He was sitting all over a small rocking chair, twiddling his thumbs and smiling with his feet on the fender. He lives in a drain below the hedge in a very, very dirty, wet ditch. How do you do, Mr. Jackson? Do you read me? You have got very wet. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Tittle, Mrs. Tittlemouse. I'll sit a while and dry myself, said Mr. Jackson. He sat and smiled, and the water dripped off his coattails. Mrs. Tittlemouse went round with a mop. He sat such a while that he had to be asked that we would take some dinner. First he had offered him cherry stones. Thank you, thank you, Mrs. Tittlemouse. No teeth, no teeth, no teeth, said Mrs. Jackson. Mr. Jackson, he opened his mouth most necessarily wide. He certainly had not a tooth in his head. Then he offered him a thistle-down seed. Tiddly Willy Whitley Puff 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 said Mr. Jackson. He blew the whistle down all over the room. Thank you, thank you, Mrs. Tiddlemouse. Now what I really like would be a little dish of honey. I am afraid I haven't got any, Mr. Jackson. Tiddly Whitley Whitley, Mrs. Tiddlemouse. She said, smiling, I can smell it. That is why I came to call. Mr. Mr. Jackson rose ponderously from the table and began to look in the cupboards. Mrs. Little Mouse followed him with a dishcloth to wipe his large, wet foot marks off the parlor floor. When he had convinced himself there was no honey in the cupboard, He began to walk down the passage. Indeed, indeed, you will stick fast, Mr. Jackson. Tiddly, widdly, widdly, Mrs. Tiddlemouse. Where's he squeeze into the pantry? Tiddly, widdly, widdly, no honey. No honey, Mrs. Tiddlemouse. And said, we creepy, crawly people hiding in a plate rack. Two of them got away, but the littlest one was caught. Then he squeezed into the larder. Miss Butterfly was tasting the sugar, but she flew away out of the window. Tiddly, widdly, widdly, Mrs. Tittlemouse. You seem to have plenty of visitors. And without any invitation, and Miss Thomasina Tittlemouse. <laughs> they went along the sandy pastures. Tiddly Woodly, buzz, whiz, whiz. He met Babbity around the corner, snapped her up, and put her down again. 
I do not like bumblebees. And Mr. Jackson webbing his mouth with a coat sleeve. Webbing his mouth with a coat sleeve. Get out, get out, you nasty old toad, shrieked Babbity Wongo. I shall go distracted, scolded Mrs. Tittlemouse. <sighs> he shut himself in a nut cellar oh, while wow. Mr. Jack hold up the business. He seemed to have no objection to the things. But Mrs. Tittlemouse ventured to come out. Everybody had gone away. But the untidiness was something dreadful. I never did see such a mess. Smears of honey and moss. And a thistle down marks a very big and dirty feet all over my nice clean house. He gathered up the moss and remained the bees wax. But she, then she went out and fetched some twigs to partly close up the front door. I will make it too small for Mr. Jackson. She fetched soft soap and a flannel and, new, uh, and a new scrubbing brush from the storeroom, but she was too tired to do any more. First, she fell asleep in her chair, and then she went to bed. Will it ever be tidy again, said poor Mrs. Tittlemouse. Next morning, she got up very early and began a spring cleaning, which lasted a fortnight. He swept and scrubbed and dusted. She rubbed up the furniture with beeswax, polished her little tin spoons. When it was all beautifully neat, and she gave, she gave a party to five other little mice without Mr. Jackson. He, he smelt the party and came up the bank, but he could not squeeze in the door. So they handed him an acorn. Cupfuls of honeydew through the window. And he was not at all offended. He set us in the sun and said, Tiddly, Widdly, Widdly, your, your very good health, Mrs. Tittlemouse.